What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I've got another video where I'm going to show you a bunch of things that I've sold on eBay. Got over 80 items today. This is all stuff that I found at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, places like Goodwill, and even rummage sales. These are all things you can look for in the wild and also make some money hopefully. But don't forget to hit that like button if you learn something today. Let's jump into it. So here's some of this Fire King stuff I got recently. And if you didn't catch the video, go check that out. Awesome find on this stuff. I talked about it in a video literally a week later i find a bunch of it i'm breaking down the mugs i got 15 mugs and some other stuff and i'm selling them in lots of four i sold this first lot of four for 240 dollars plus shipping and these are in amazing condition they're the c handles and uh the thick ones heavy ones which are worth a bit more money when it's all said and done you know i'm making at least a thousand dollars on this stuff we're going to make sure these are packaged very well going to wrap them in heavy construction paper and then bubble wrap and pack them tight first set of four took less than a week to sell here are a bunch of gi joe accessories vintage found these at a garage sale i paid a quarter for all of them and i decided to do an auction on them because i didn't want to list them individually a lot of them are only worth like you know two to five bucks that i probably could have made more money listing them individually and just waiting for all of them to sell but went ahead and just sold them all on auction for $38.42 plus shipping so for paying a quarter that's some really good profit coming in here's a big mouth billy bass and this is a very special big mouth billy bass i picked this up at goodwill for ten dollars and i've sold them before the billy bass the original ones you get a little bit of money for them profit if you're getting them cheap enough however this is a newer one and it works with amazon and uh, bluetooth so i saw it at goodwill for ten dollars i'm like oh I'll, I'll look it up i walked past it at first and this is actually new in box and the value on this uh, well, I sold it for $190 plus shipping, over $200 total i guarantee you a lot of people selling these are just not going to know about them but a phenomenal flip and i'll be looking for some more of these that's for sure here is a ddr super deluxe dance pad it says the foam on the bottom pretty rare a great sale i paid 4.99 for this at a goodwill and i sold it for 125 dollars plus shipping somebody bought it yesterday and canceled the order and then i relisted it and it sold today took about three months four months to sell so not that bad for easily a hundred dollars profit here's a brand new pair of fila shoes got these at a rummage sale only paid three dollars for them i sold them for thirty dollars plus shipping i love finding new stuff it's easy to list and easy to sell here is this axe youth baseball bat got this at goodwill for 2.99 and i sold it for forty dollars plus shipping sold uh, in less than a week nice flip here is a lot of 11 Stephen King books I've just collected from various places. Got anywhere from a quarter to, you know, $3 max. I wouldn't be paying more than $3 for a basic Stephen King book, unless it you know, was something special, vintage, that I could sell for a lot of money. So probably less than $20 into these books, and I sold them for $50 plus shipping. Here are these Panasonic speakers that come with a 5-disc cd player tape player i ended up selling the cd player uh for about 90 dollars plus shipping I had it listed with the speakers the person sent me a message and told me not to ship the speakers they didn't want any other discount so you know i got basically a free pair of speakers very 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 rare that's ever happened if ever but i ended up selling these speakers for 30 dollars plus shipping so just some extra money in my pocket i'll happily take it i bought a couple of these bronze shavers at a goodwill they were 5.99 a piece i sold one really quick for 45 dollars plus shipping and about a year year and a half later the other one has sold for 45 dollars plus shipping not sure why the second one took so long to sell but i'm happy with the profits here is this pirate troll plush i got this at a garage sale a couple years ago paid a quarter 50 cents for it something like that sold it for 15 dollars here is the last of these first alert fire home extinguishers got around 10 of these at a lowe's a year and a half ago or so only paid like two dollars a piece for them insane clearance price this is the final one and i sold it for 25 dollars plus shipping sold a couple pair of san antonio shoe company shoes here's a pair of these tan ones i 
I don't remember exactly where I got these, but I sold them for $20 plus shipping. Then I have this new pair of black ones. And I got these at a rummage sale for only $1. I sold them for $90 plus shipping. So these shoes are big money if you can find them new, that's for sure. I sold three or four pairs of new San Antonio Shoe Company shoes over the, the years. I remember I even sold a pair I got at a garage sale for a dollar. I think I got about 120 for those. But some insane profit for what I paid on these shoes. Here's a sealed DVD set. The Divine Defense got this at a thrift store for one dollar and I sold it for $35. Incredible return on my dollar investment. Here's a Bernina sewing machine foot. This is another one I got from the Bernina sewing machine in parts lot. Sold this one for $45 and of course in the end I'm gonna make right around a thousand dollars on everything. Paid a hundred dollars for it all. Here's some cleaner for aligners and retainers. Got these at Walmart for about five dollars a piece. Sold them for $35 plus shipping for a total of $44.09. Here is a Home Medics massager. Got this at a Goodwill for $5 and I sold it for $30 plus shipping. Glad it sold because I just found one at a garage sale for three dollars and we're gonna list that for the same price. Here's a great flip here. I got this dual trunking flantern. Flantern. A great flip right here. Dual trunking. A great flip right here. I got this dual trunking scanner. Got this at a rummage sale. Only paid a dollar for it and I sold it for one hundred dollars plus shipping. Sold in less than a week. Here are a pair of Brooks shoes. I believe I got these at a rummage sale for one dollar and I sold them for twenty dollars plus shipping. Here's a Jurassic World dinosaur. I thought I had sold all of these from a lot I got last year. This one still remained. Sold it for twenty five dollars plus shipping. So I'm already in the profit from the lot. So this is just extra free money. I have these Ikea Stockholm, I guess candle holders. Found these at Goodwill, I think for about five bucks. Sold them for $30 plus shipping. I'm going to tell you the secret right now on how to sell stuff on eBay. Anything that's been sitting in your inventory for a long time and you've forgotten about, all you have to do is touch it, touch it or move it. <laughs> So many times I just come across inventory. I'm like, oh, I forgot I even had that listed. This will probably take a while to sell. I'll touch it or I'll move it and it sells the same day. It's crazy how often that happens. You can let me know in the comments if anyone else has that happen to them. But a great flip at $5, $30 plus shipping. Got these new Skecher shoes at a garage sale last year. I don't remember exactly what I paid for them, $10 or $15. But I sold them for $50 plus shipping. So nice flip on these Skechers shoes. I just picked up a, a new pair of Skechers shoes like this at a garage sale and I thought those were the ones that sold and I went to ship them and then I realized I haven't even listed those yet so funny I found another pair than this pair sells. But I'm glad I didn't ship the wrong pair that would have been terrible. Here is a vintage Garfield plush head. I paid five dollars for this. I sold it for twenty dollars plus shipping. Only took about three days to sell. I probably priced it a little low. There weren't any comps for it but some similar ones were listed and they weren't selling so I just priced it twenty bucks. Here's a pair of five finger shoes. I got these at Goodwill for five dollars and I sold them for twenty five dollars. Here's a great flip. This computer motherboard. I found this in the thrift store. It was one dollar. I thought for sure it wouldn't be the same motherboard that was in the box. I opened it up and sure enough it was even better than that it was new uh, the right motherboard and new for one dollar and has all the accessories and pieces in there paperwork i ended up selling it for eighty-five dollars one dollar and eighty-five dollars i'll take it any day another bernina sewing machine foot from the bernina lot i got for a hundred dollars sold this piece for forty five dollars here are a pair of adidas shoes i picked these up at goodwill for five dollars i sold them for thirty five dollars plus shipping Here's a pair of new without tags Merrill shoes. I got these at Goodwill. I paid $6 for them and I sold them for $30 plus shipping. So some great profit. Here's a Star Wars book. I got a couple dollars into this and I sold it for $18. I had another one I sold for like $25 or $30 if I remember correctly. Sold four more of these Fire King mugs, and I sold these for $250 plus shipping. Got seven more to sell. I'm just gonna keep raising the price. So I bought an electronic battleship game at a rummage sale for $2. Unfortunately, it did not work, but I'm able to sell these pieces for $14 and get my money back. Also, this is an international order, so the person paid over $30 to get these. So I got my $2 back and I made some money and I'm still gonna sell a battery cover eventually, hopefully. Here are some Lord of the Rings 
Rings books. I got these at an estate sale where 90% of the contents were media, books, DVDs, and stuff. I filled my Ikea bag with stuff. I ended up paying $30 for everything I got that day. And I've sold these books for $55. So that puts me into the profit. When you're buying the right kind of media, it just adds up very quickly. Sold this Hunter fan remote. I got this at a Habitat for Humanity restore for $3. And I sold this for $50 plus shipping. And these things sell for about $150 new on Amazon. I sold a lot of them. Made some really good profit on them. Got a great deal. Where I got about somewhere between 50 and 60 of them, I think. Anyway, when I saw this, I knew it was going to sell great used. $3 into 50 bucks. Here's a sealed Unforgettable first season DVD. Got this in an estate sale where I got a bunch of media for $30. So I, I got less than a dollar into this, I believe. And I sold it for $13. Picked up these connects at a Goodwill for $2.99 and I sold them for $18 plus shipping. Priced them pretty low. Just wanted to sell them. I already have some other ones listed. Just wanted a fast flip, make about 10 bucks. Actually, these three gears right here could probably sell for about $12 or $13 dollars by themselves all the rest of the pieces nothing great but i just put it all together here and it sold within about five days here is a bread maker lid and screw for a panasonic unit parting it out i'm sure i've made my money back on this already end up getting 25 dollars shipped for the lid and the screw here are some Allen Edmond Flagstaff shoes. I got these. I believe these are the pair I got at Salvation Army one time. They had them priced like $40, something crazy. They went half off. No one bought them at half off. The final step after that is $1, and that's what I bought them. Ended up selling them for $40 plus shipping, so great profit on these. Picked up this Lakewood Vintage Fan at a rummage sale for $5. Put it on eBay for $40 plus shipping. Somebody locally wanted to buy it and pick it up, so I added the local option on eBay, which is great because I was a little bit nervous shipping this. I was gonna ship it in the box. There's not enough room really to put good protection in there to ship it. So $5 into $40, great flip. Here's one of the Magnavox DVD VCR combos. Already got it wrapped in bubble wrap, but that's what it is. Picked this up at Goodwill for $5, and I sold it for $70 plus shipping. This did not have a remote, and it sold within, well, I think less than 10 minutes of me listing it. I had another one, which is like the model before this, the gray one. This is the black one with the remote. I listed that for the same price because it doesn't sell as well. It still hasn't sold. So these black ones, uh, I forget, I think it ends with the nine, the model number. They're a bit more desirable. Unfortunately, I didn't have the remote for this one. Still some great profit. And the sell-through rate on these is insane. There's like 120 listed with like 900 sold comps. A very desirable unit. Here is a Prince tennis racket. I got this at Goodwill for $2. I ended up selling it for $45 plus shipping for a total of $65.65. Nice flip. Picked up this brand new pair of Red Wing shoes at a garage sale about eight months ago for $20. I have sold them for $75 plus shipping. Red Wings are usually big money, especially new. Here is a couple great shoe sales. I got these purple Nike Zoom Pegasus 3 shoes. Got these at a garage sale for $3. Kind of shocked to see them there because I saw some resellers leaving, so I just assumed everything was picked. These are new, unworn shoes and I sold them for $70 plus shipping for a total of $95.45 so a great sale there and then I got these Nike at a Goodwill for $5 torch fours I sold them for $35 plus shipping you really can't beat it just a couple of awesome shoe sales here's a Stargate Atlantis DVD set got this at an estate sale where there's a bunch of media paid $30 for all the media already made my money back sold these for $30 plus shipping here is a new in package Cora the Smart Cub VTech toy got this at a rummage sale paid five dollars for it and I sold it for twenty five dollars plus shipping. Here's a Wilson baseball glove. I picked this up at a garage sale for three dollars and I sold it for sixty five dollars. Great flip on this baseball glove. Seems like every year I find great baseball gloves, especially at garage sales because people use these especially kids. They grow up, they don't play anymore, and they're just sold at a garage sale for $3. Here's a couple good shoe sales. I got these Skechers D-Lights. These came from a rummage sale, only paid $1 for them. Bought them because, well, they're in great condition and they are a pretty popular shoe. 
a bit saturated on eBay, but what you pay a dollar and sell them for $25, which is what I did, is some pretty good profit. So $25 plus shipping on these. Then at a Goodwill, I picked up for $5 these brand new uh, Fitville shoes. And these, I don't know if I've ever sold Fitville, to be honest, that I can remember. But at $5, they're a great pickup because I sold them for $40 plus shipping. Just some more awesome shoe flips. So here is a Howard Miller clock. I picked this up at Goodwill for $7.99 because I looked at the comps and well they looked promising anywhere from 50 it looked like to you know some listed for over $600 some of the sold comps I saw you know 150 I saw a lot of 40s so I priced mine at 45 plus shipping and it sold within about a week and a half so some pretty decent profit on that you know Howard Miller is a pretty good name but these clocks are just not that great quality like this paint's already kind of starting to peel off here and I'm afraid the buyer is going to get it and just start touching it too harshly and it's just going to rub off and because i was even touching it and this little corner piece came off which i you know i photographed in the listing already but it comes off very easily just you know for some big name clock company like this i just assume their clock quality would be a bit better here is a power rangers toy got this at a goodwill for two or three dollars don't remember exactly but I sold it for $18.95. Here are some Monster High dolls. I believe these are the ones I picked up for a quarter a piece at a garage sale. I ended up selling them for $20 plus shipping for a total of $33.45. Here are some Refrigi Wear boots. Don't think I've ever bought this brand before, but they seem to be pretty decent quality. Comps looked okay, so give them a try. Paid $5 for them at a Goodwill. Sold them for $30 plus shipping. Here's a nice sale. This G.I. Joe sealed vintage figure. I got this locally, and you know what? I can't remember how much I paid for it. I got a few sealed G.I. Joe items. Somewhere between $50 and $75. I ended up selling it for $200 plus shipping so it made some good profit on it i have another one that's a bit more rare i've had priced well for about two years now six hundred dollars just gonna hold out on that price i'm in no hurry to sell it so that should be a good sell when that finally happens here's a garfield plush from 81 with the tags got this at goodwill for five dollars and i sold it for 28 dollars plus shipping here's a vintage ice cream maker i got this at a thrift store paid two or three dollars for it sold it for thirty dollars plus shipping never been used here's a youth size baseball glove i don't remember where i picked it up at this point i'm sure i don't have much into it sold it for 24 dollars got these figures and a bunch of others at a goodwill years ago uh we're talking like probably seven years something like that now i sold the better ones already these are just kind of worthless no one really wants them i priced them 30 dollars plus shipping and they finally sold so happy to see them go i've already made my money back on what i bought so this is just a little bit extra from that lot here is a sylvania vcr remote i got this at a goodwill for three dollars 99 cents and i sold it for 38 dollars plus shipping took about two days to sell sold this vintage hp 12c calculator got this at a thrift store for one dollar sold it for 30 dollars and yeah some of these vintage calculators big money this one not as much i think the best calculator i sold was about 220 220 20 bucks but i'll happily sell this one for 30 for only paying one dollar here's a dvd and book set brand new sealed got this at a thrift store i only paid 50 cents for it and i sold it for 30 dollars in what business can you take 50 cents and turn it into 30 dollars that easily got about a dollar into this poltergeist the legacy dvd set got it from an estate sale and i got 25 dollars for it so here's a blade from a black and decker food processor i've already made my money back on the units parting it out and uh, i'm selling this piece for 20 bucks here's one of these columbus globes made in germany uh, shows the constellations and all that lights up picked this up at a garage sale for five dollars and i sold it for forty dollars plus shipping i will definitely take those profits here is a caller ID. I got this at Goodwill for $2.99 and I sold it for $30. Uh, it took about six months to sell. These caller IDs, some of the vintage ones, can make you some pretty good money, especially the ones with the large screens. Here is this Fluval G3 aquarium pump. It's a very high-end pump. I picked this up at Goodwill for $12.99 and I sold it for $150 plus shipping. So that's an incredible flip. I can say that it's the first one one of these aquarium pumps I've ever sold, that's for sure. Here is a Magnavox DVD VCR combo. I sold this for $75 
plus shipping. Paid $5 for this at Goodwill. Very rare to see these anywhere, let alone Goodwill and for $5, so great pickup. Took about a week to sell. Here is some Lion King plush. I got these at a rummage sale. I think I paid a quarter a piece for them. Four of them in there, and I sold them for $28. Also, when I sell clothing, hats, and plush, if possible, I like to fit them into a poly bag just to protect them from if the package gets wet or something spills on it, dust, dirt, all that kind of stuff. Paid 50 cents for this sealed PlayStation 4 Drive Club game at a garage sale. I sold it for $20. Took about three days to sell. Here's a home medics massager. Got this at a garage sale for $3. Sold it for $28 plus shipping. This one is not one of the heated versions or I would have sold it for a little bit more. Here's a Sony PSP game, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. Got this at a rummage sale for uh, $1, maybe $2, and I sold it for $40. Here is this Disney photo album, brand new sealed. Paid $4 for this at Goodwill, and I sold it for $28. So not a bad flip, and it sold within uh, about three or four days of me listing it. So awesome find, awesome flip. Paid $2.99 for this bun, coffee. Hot replacement at Goodwill. Sold it for $18 plus shipping for a total of $36.66 and it took uh, a little over a month to sell I think. There it is everybody. There's some of my sales from the past month. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that like button for me before you go. Be subscribed if you want to see more of my content. I really do appreciate you watching. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.